Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I want to do a makeup look that seems to be kind of the go-to for my channel lately but I'm actually really lo loving it so <laughs> sorry if you're not. Um, I'm really enjoying doing all these looks. So today I'm going to do a, another makeup look. Not necessarily a tutorial. I think I'm too wordy and too talky in these types of videos so I think I'm going to try to not talk as much kind of keep it short simple and sweet and I want to keep it definitely no more than 20 minutes but I want to aim for 10 to 15 so today I want to try to recreate a makeup look one of my favorite models that models for Killstar I believe her name is pronounced Diana Krunk I'm not sure I will put her Instagram handle here so you can check it check out her content she is one of my favorite Killstar models or one of my favorite models that I see on the Killstar website and uh, in I really really love her makeup <laughs> so I'm gonna try to recreate it I did some digging through her Instagram and it looks like the majority of her eye look is created using the Venus 2 palette which I do not have so I'm gonna do my best I do see some variations of the look. Sometimes it's more pinky, sometimes it's more brown. It is very hard to find a really decent like picture of just the look because she usually wears really long flowy eyelashes and she has hooded eyes. So it, it does, there's no like specific pictures just based on the look that I could really find. I found like two that are pretty good but they're both a little bit different so <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I also don't have, I do have lashes but I don't really know how to wear lashes and I'm not feeling lashes today so I'm not going to mimic that but what I'm more so going for is the vampy look. I want to try to imitate the best I can her vampy look. The closest palette that I think that I could find, um, I could always mix stuff. I, I definitely have very similar shadows from what it looks like, but I think I'm gonna be able to kind of create it just with this side of the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics because it looks like it is a smoky, eye with some browns some lighter brown tones in there it kind of looks like there might be like a deep pink but I, 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 I'm just gonna use the Gemini palette all right so the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay down a base of Urban K's primer potion in original all over my eyes I'm also going to take some tape and I'm going to attempt to put some tape down. So it doesn't look like she has much of a transition shade, but I am going to go in with the shade Luna as my transition shade just to hopefully make blending application uh, in the future once I start putting down darker shades a little easier. And I'm using an e.l.f. brush. These older brushes don't have names. I'm sorry they're not really on the website anymore like these specific brushes but it is like a flat I will I will like list in the description like the closest brush I can find to this um, and I will put it somewhere on the screen and that's kind of how I, I want to do um, this in the future I think I want to put all the brushes on the screen and all the colors on the screen so I don't necessarily have to say them that may help cut down time a little bit I'm 
Next, I am gonna go in with polka dot and I'm gonna put polka dot in the crease. So I am going to use an elf crease, crease brush to take polka dot. I'm taking this Unicorn Brushes brush and I'm going to take Cupcake and I'm going to basically put Cupcake all over the lid and exactly in my crease. Like I usually put my shadows a little higher than my crease so that you can see them when I open my eyes. This one is not going above the crease at all so it is just going to be in the crease and the whole lid. And I'm going to just kind of pat it on. And then I'm going to take this pencil brush from Tarte Cosmetics, and this is from the Mermaid Collection, and I'm going to take Bonnie, which is the black shade in the palette, and I am going to deepen the outer V, and actually I'm just going to deepen like the outer and the inner corner, and then I think I'm going to blend it all together. And then I'm gonna take this fluffy eye blending brush and kind of just start softly diffusing everything together. So it looks like her lid is a little bit darker. I think I'm gonna take the first e.l.f. brush that I used and I'm gonna mix back and forth between Cupcake and Bonnie, I think. And I think I'm gonna take on this fluffy brush from Unicorn Cosmetics or Unicorn Brushes, I'm not sure. I'm going to take polka dot, I think, a little bit.
she extends her eyeliner deep into her inner corner, which is gonna be a nightmare for me to do, but I'm gonna try. So I think it is safe to take off the tape now, as well as clean up my application a little bit. because it doesn't look like her application is as neat and like defined as mine. So I'm gonna try to diffuse that harsh line just a little bit. There's no product in this Just small circular motions to try to just diffuse it a little bit. I may add a little bit of polka dot to this too, actually. Okay, and then I am gonna take a black smudgeable liner on my upper and lower waterline slash lash line. And then I want to smoke that out, it looks like. I have a smudge brush for this. And this is a smudge brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to smoke that out. I hmm, that is just grabbing the product. I've actually never had that happen before when I do this. So I'm gonna to try to switch to another brush. I don't know if maybe it's just too harsh. And I'm gonna reapply that really quick. Like it full on rubbed the product off and crumbled it, which I've never had happen before. So I'm taking the pencil brush from Tarte, the mermaid collection. And that is way too much. Kind of the same thing is happening and I don't know why. I, I really could not begin to tell you what is going on under my eye. All right, so, cause it's getting in my eye now and that really hurts. I'm gonna take some Bonnie on that brush to try to mimic what I'm doing with the eyeliner because the eyeliner even though it is supposed to be a smudge liner and has never given me this issue before is becoming very patchy and I'm going to take it on what I believe is a elf lip brush I probably could use that smudger now actually there's that smudge brush Seems it stops right before your corner. So this eye looks a lot better, I have to say. Although this eye carried down a little bit further than I would have liked. And then I'm going to blow that out with polka dot. I'm just taking my time to do a lot of blending on that lower lash line. And I'm sorry if my hair is irritating you guys as, as much as it's irritating me. <laughs> I did seem to lose a little bit of Bonnie 
in that outer V. So I'm just adding it a little bit back in there and kind of like smoking it into the eye lid itself. Using the wrong brush for this, but that's okay. That seemed to dirty up the application actually more to my liking than it was. All that is left is this liner. So I'm not going to be able to do it on camera, so I will be right back. I did my liner, I curled my lashes, and I did my mascara off camera. I gotta say, this kind of liner is very difficult. The liner that I'm using is brand new, but I, I find it is not good for this kind of an application. It tugs, which means that it's very hard to get a straight, pre like precise line in that inner corner. And I think I tilted it down too much, so this is my first time ever doing a liner like that. But So it looks like her go-to shade, at least in the past, was Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. I'm not sure if that's still the same shade she uses or the same brand she uses. Uh, it, 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 it's like a very pinky nude. I don't... I, I probably have like a similar color over there, but I think I'm just gonna do... I have a... I have a stick from Bite Beauty in the shade Meringue. And I, I think this is what I'm gonna go with. It is a similar color, um, but she her color that she uses is a little bit more like has more white in it, I guess. It's like more of a nude for my skin tone. But this this will suffice, and I think that's a liquid lipstick. And I'm I'm just gonna do a bullet today because my lips my lips are really chapped, and I, and no matter no matter what I do with them, they they're just not getting better. So. I'm just gonna stick with a creamy bullet and that completes the look. So I've explained in the past that I don't wear foundation. I cannot find a foundation that my skin agrees with. I don't know if I need to like mix products or whatever it is, but it's, I, I, I know like the tone of my skin. It's just my skin does not like foundation. It, it just, I'll show you in a future video. Let's, let's put it like that. So I don't, wear foundation um which i really hate because i hate my cheeks um as you can see like i have i guess it's called rosacea um i have redness uh, on my face that does not go away and i really hate it so i wish i could wear foundation but i can't but i'm just gonna leave the rest of my skin as is because i that's how i kind of tend to do it <laughs> but this will be the completion of the look Overall, not bad. I think I did a pretty good job at recreating kind of what the look is while not necessarily using the same shades. So it comes across as very similar. Um, so I'm pretty pleased. I think it definitely does benefit to have those nice fluttery lashes, but yeah, uh, that's gonna take some time and practice and I'm not up to that point yet. <laughs> So I'm just going to skip it, um, but I think it did come out looking very nice. Again, this is my first time doing that inner corner liner, um, and I don't know if it's necessarily the best kind of look for someone who wears glasses. I think without glasses it looks a lot better, but the points of my glasses could just rub that away, so again, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit myself with a setting spray and I'm gonna go about my day. Alright guys, so thank you for joining me with um, this just little get ready with me slash I'm doing my makeup, not really talking um, type of video. If you enjoy the content that I make that's makeup related, let me know if this is more your cup of tea or if you like when I get very talky and chatty. Even if I'm just kind of describing what I'm doing, let me know. I'm very curious 
curious like what you guys as the viewers prefer uh, either way, I'm down. I I wasn't even gonna really film this uh, for YouTube. I was just gonna do this maybe for my Instagram, but I figured I'm, I'm doing filming it anyway, might as well. So yeah, like if, if this is not your guys' cup of tea, then I can just kind of save these looks for just Instagram. So let me know um, what you guys prefer. All right guys, so I'll see you in my next video. I don't know when or what that will be, but I hope to see you all there. Bye guys.